Soy oficial con Santino Heckerman. Estás mirando Roll Call. For those of you that don't speak Spanish, my name is Officer Constantino Heckerman, and you're watching Roll Call. And coming up, we'll visit the memorial service for the four ATF agents who died during the raid at the Colt compound in Waco. And on a lighter side, we'll go to Streamwood, Illinois to visit a D.A.R.E. graduation ceremony. And that's only a portion of what we've got lined up for you on today's Roll Call for Thursday, June 3rd, 1993. Well, hello everyone. Welcome to Roll Call. I'm Dave Smith. And I'm Debbie Maffitt. Now, how come you said that a little down? You, do, you didn't well, say that with excitement I, and enthusiasm. I tell you, I'm ready for the weekend. You know, sometimes it's just uh, was rocking it one of those? and rolling. It's been one of those it's weeks. It's been one of those weeks. I'm ready for the weekend here, but I know it's a, we want to keep everybody up. You know, we've got a good show for today. That's for, for today, for you today. <laughs> now, there's the old Dave today. back. There, there he is. There we go. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I'll loosen up for Friday. Yeah, okay. no, there you go. Because see, the guys need, they're getting ready to hit the streets for the weekend, so they need to be lifted up. Well, that's right. It's a good thing. And we had our Dare officer from Illinois stand in there in the yes, opening. He opened for our us. show today. I like that. that. Good. And we're going right. to be showing you more of the Dare program in just a few minutes. Also, we're going to be showing you. Why don't we talk about responding to a bomb threat, my good. And now let's talk about Dare, which is a. Again, hoping to prevent tragedies in the future. The DARE program, you know, began about 10 years ago. It's been tremendously successful. And it's a tremendous tool. If your department doesn't have it, you might think about it. Now, not only do kids learn how to say no to drugs and gangs, but it's also a great way to build a, a rapport with the community. Now, LATN's Lori Vodder has this report. Fun cheers are heard instead of pomp and circumstance, and t-shirts replace cap and gown. But as one adult told these students, they'll have many more graduation ceremonies, but this is the most important. That's because completing the D.A.R.E. course can keep kids on track for reaching those other milestones. It's an opportunity to get, have a good rapport with the police department, and obviously the main reason is to uh, tell them how to say no. Basically showing them how to say no to drugs and alcohol, and it'll curtail them from joining any type of gangs. In Streamwood, Illinois, a suburb of Chicago, the school administrators have high praise for the police department's involvement. I think it's one of the greatest things that we have in our school. Um, it's something that uh, not only have the students been very enthusiastic about, but also the teachers, the entire staff, as well as the parents. And it's unusual that we have one thing that everybody can be that enthusiastic about. Children, especially elementary school children, really react positively to uh, an officer in uniform. I like the idea that they come in uniform. I like the idea that the DARE officers that we have had uh, try to uh, establish a relationship with all of the students. And it's an opportunity for those students who um, over the years maybe tend to be ones that, that don't get the attention that, that they would like. Uh, those officers start from square one not knowing any of the children and they all get equal attention and the children really eat that up. And when the silly cheers, fun and games are over, the fifth graders are the first to admit the D.A.R.E. class has a sobering message. Drugs are bad for you and they could kill brain cells and stuff like that. Are you pretty convinced you'll never use drugs or get in a gang? Yeah, because he told us all the bad stuff they do like break the law and they, if they get caught they can go to jail and you probably won't even come out. There's a lot of police officers across the country that are going to be watching this. What would you say to help them teach other kids? That it's that, um, it's fun to, it would be fun to um, encourage children not to use drugs or alcohol. That kind of talk is rewarding to officers who teach D.A.R.E. I like being with the kids. It's nice after, after working on the street for a little while and running into so many kids, breaking the law and having to arrest kids for theft or for runaway or whatever. It's nice to deal with so many kids that aren't breaking the law to find out that there really are some nice people out there. It's very satisfying. When I became a police officer, I remember someone telling me at the academy that this uh, profession will give you non-tangible rewards. And at the time, I wasn't too familiar with non-tangible rewards. And being with these young people, I feel that my impact as a police officer is utilized a lot more as a dear officer because of the smiles and, and, and the comments and how they participate in class. That in itself is, is something that is very priceless, let alone the opportunity of establishing a good foundation so that they are prepared when they go into the middle school and in the high school, they are prepared to how to say no to drugs and alcohol 
that definitely is very priceless. There's more to dare than drugs and gangs. We also have a um, program on assertiveness, which means you need, you know, not to be demanding or submissive. You need to be assertive because if you know how to say no, it's not going to work if you're not assertive. So we instruct the kids and young people on how to sound confident and calm, very good posture, very good eye contact. And, you know, I also indicate to them that's going to carry themselves through life. And that begs the question, does D.A.R.E. keep kids from trying drugs and joining gangs even years after they read their essays and get a free T-shirt? I really think it works. I, I, I'd like to say that it would mean that nobody would ever do drugs. I, I'm, you know, I'm sure you know that that doesn't happen. But um, the thing is, I think it causes kids to stop and think. And when they do make a decision, it's an, it's an informed decision and they know exactly what they're doing, what they're getting into, even when they make the wrong decision. This is Lori Vodder reporting from Streamwood, Illinois, for Roll Call. Their programs are important. You, you really, if you don't have one in your community, I think you'd really gain by it. So, you, you know, know, anyone I have ever talked to, any agency I've ever talked to that has a D.A.R.E. program, sing such high praises of the program and the success of it in the community and with the children. Right. I, I think that people in law enforcement know that so much of the crime problem, the drug problem we see in our society isn't going to be solved by kicking doors. You know, we're going to kick doors from now until eternity unless we affect the children, and that's where the change has to occur. Mm -hmm.